This fan has a broken switch. You think we can fix it? I wanna show you how to fix a switch because I think you can do it. It's just maybe you're thinking, I don't know if I can do it, but if I can do it, you can do it. There are two pull chains on, you like the bone? <laughs> that switch, we gotta get out. So when I'm, tr we have to get this covering we have to get this covering here um, off. And I'm like, I I look around for like screws and I like, so I see a screw here. I don't see any screws up here. So I'm thinking that this whole um, housing pulls off. So I'm gonna remove the screws that are, oh, that's a shade, sorry. Um, there's another screw. I'm gonna take those screws off and ideally this, will pop off and um, if not, well, then we'll just move forward from that. So I'm just trying to walk you through my my thinking when I try and fix something I've never fixed before. Big tip, take pictures, oops, sorry. <laughs> take pictures as you take this apart, okay? Learn from me, it might be like, oh, I'm gonna remember, but no, take pictures. Don't let that screw fall down into there, okay? That would be bad. Success. Wow, look at that. Success, huh? Cool. So looking here, do you see this um, connector right here? A, oh, it says A and A, it's got a bunch of wires, has a little um, holder, a little locking thing there. You wanna disconnect that because what you're doing is disconnecting the wires coming from the motor to the, um, the part with the light and more importantly, the switches and the one switch you wanna replace. And again, take pictures as you take this apart. Learn from me. Usually you can just press, press on that and that little hook disengages. Sometimes you need to get a pliers in there. Ooh. So that, uh, that disconnected. So inside our little uh, round house of wire, this is a capacitor for the fan motor. And interestingly, there's a second capacitor here. If your ceiling fan, I forgot the name of the thing, um, only runs at low speed and won't run at the higher speed, it's very likely the capacitor that's bad. And um, I have another fan with a bad capacitor in it. That'll be a video too. This is kind of like when you need to operate on someone's uh, abdomen, I guess, or chest. Um, there's a lot of moving parts here. But that switch there, is the switch that I think is broken. Hey, hey, what is up? Who's the one that likes to jump? And then there's Spiker. Hi. Hi. Are you guys excited about my ceiling fan? Um, you're excited about maybe going outside? So we gotta get that out of there by taking this off. So I'm gonna just gently See how the switch moves when I move that. So I'm gonna try and not scrape this up too much. So I'm gonna hold the switch in here and try and get on that little ridgy part. There we go. There we go. That's the switch. I ordered a switch. I went online and I typed in the name brand of the fan and how many speeds it is. Most ceiling fans are at three speed. This is actually a four. It doesn't really make a difference, but if you notice there are these holes, slots. Can you see that? Um, here, and this clicks nicely. And this has very similar slots. So what I wanna do is 
figure out how to gently get these wires out of here. Oh, take a picture of it first because the orientation of where the wires are is very important. If you put the wires in the wrong holes, you're gonna get like fast speed, then a slow, then a fast, or it might not even work. So, um, well, I'll take a picture so you can see the colors of the wires. Wow, the colors are almost the same. Uh oh. <laughs> Green, brown, purple, black, and gray. You think I can remember that? <laughs> no. Okay, so these wires are held into the switch, not by screws, but by little metal clips, little metal springs, essentially. And the end of each of these wires is soldered. It's called tinned or soldered. And I could strip this and re-solder the wires, but it's a lot of work. So what I'm gonna actually do is destroy this switch to get the wires out intact. So it's a point of no return. I'm just gonna grab that and break it off. Comes off. Oh. <laughs> but wait, there's more. There we go. So you just see how this piece of brass is kind of a spring and holding in the um, tinned wires. Here's the replacement. And notice it has the same numbers, which is a beautiful thing. So one by one, we can replace the wires in this puppy. I need new glasses. So there's a wire called L, which is line. In other words, the power coming in to the switch. And then the rest of these are what are called the load. Uh, the load is the motor that's drawing the power. So uh, we're gonna do the L first, and we're gonna slide that into the L here. All right, this might be kind of hard to show, hard to see on camera, but I'm just gonna pop this wire out of here like that. It's got a uh, solder on it already, so it makes it much easier. And I'm going to press it into the housing. There's a little bit of hesitancy there. That's a... There we go, it's in. And you wanna give it a little yank back to make sure that it's snapped in. And that, I don't know if I could hang by that, but um, it's not pulling out. All right, let's do the rest of the wires. That goes in. Boom, done. I just can't stand throwing something out because it's broken, but I'm pretty sure. I've never replaced a switch like this before, but I was like, okay, I have an idea of how ceiling fans work. It's probably just a switch. You can probably find the switch online. And I think it was eight bucks. I mean, that's why I make videos like this. I just want you to think about, instead of throwing it out, fix it and save some money and do something you maybe never did before, you know? I've, you know, there's still stuff I'd like to do and uh, I'm working on it. Oh, that's good. And just double check these. All right. Will this work? Um, I'm just gonna fire it up here on the kitchen table. I don't wanna remount it before I don't know if it works or not, right? Learn from me. The replacement switch has a silver uh, locking knob, I guess we'll call it, or a set screw knob. Oh. <laughs> Remember how I said, don't let anything fall into there? Just did. Here's the easiest way to get it back out. Good thing the lavadors are upstairs, otherwise I'd be in someone's mouth right now. Oh, but the chain, the chain is silver. I can't change that. But I assure you, when you put this thing up on the ceiling again, no one's gonna come in and say, oh, Eric, that chain is silver. You're gonna know it, I'm gonna know it, no one else is gonna know it, and that's totally okay. Um, oh, we gotta put it through the hole first. But anyway, this is one of those uh, done is better than perfect. You could spray paint this chain, but um, you know maybe you should work on uh, world peace instead of spray painting the chain. All right, pretty good. 
Tuck the capacitors back down in here. Match up your A's and your A's. And then that snaps closed. A screwdriver with a magnetic tip would be really handy right now, but I don't have mine here right now. So we'll just go in like that. So this is just for testing purposes. I'm just gonna wire this into a power cord. By the way, this black wire with a white stripe is for the lights. You wanna come see if the ceiling fan's gonna work? It's a, it's a big deal. It's, the, no, the wood's, I uh, know, wood goes back outside, okay? Uh, wood goes back outside. Ready? Pull the switch. Oh, get out of the way. Oh, let me get the thing out of the way. Hold on. How cool is that? This is like a $125 fan, $200 fan. Ooh, it feels nice. And you and I fixed it for about eight bucks. You wanna spend some more time together? probably a video floating over here. See you in the next video.